Hello there, welcome to this video. My name is Tom Brooks and first disclaimer, I'm not a sim racer. I am a sports commentator currently working for Gran Turismo. Previously worked uh, as a motorcycle racing commentator in various different guises. Anyway, so uh, I'm here today to talk to you about uh, this, which is, well, this is just a box actually, to be honest with you. But it's the in contents of the box that I'm going to be talking to you about. It's the Thrustmaster TH8A add-on shifter for Thrustmaster wheels. Now, the Thrustmaster TH8A shifter has been out for about, what, five years, six years or so now? Quite some time. Previously, it was called the TH8RS, and then it was replaced by this TH8A model uh, a couple of years or so there and thereabouts later. And Thrustmaster have kindly sent me one just to do a bit of a review. Uh, now, as I said, I'm not a sim racer. I don't do uh, that much in terms of sim racing, but I do a little bit of driving uh, on an amateur basis, so, uh, you know, it's just something that I think would be fun and hopefully I can try and convey some uh, thoughts and feelings about this shifter uh, to you guys at home if you're thinking perhaps about purchasing one or uh, trying one out or whatever it might be. So let's get into it then, let's talk about this shifter. Now it's a 100% uh, metal internal mechanism, 100% metal gear stick, it's designed to be uh, really really quite top notch. Features two shift plates which uh, you'll see me using over various forms in this video as well. It's got the uh, 7 speed H pattern shifter, so it's 7 plus one so seven forward gears one reverse gear and then it's got the option that you can uh, change it around and convert it into a sequential shifter which can also depending on how you want to use it be doubled up as a handbrake or something along the lines of that so the h pattern shifter well first impressions actually really really good it's a really solid shifter it gets into gear very very well indeed and um, one thing in particular that I absolutely love about this shifter, which you'll be able to see on this box here, is the fact that it does use a metal gate. Now that metal gate in particular really does make it nice and easy to slot into position. You know exactly what gear you're going into and it gets it done very, very well indeed. As I said, seven forward gear, so it's a little bit unusual because of obviously most H pattern shifters that you'd find in a road car would either have five forward gears or six forward gears in some cases as well. Uh, and then of course the one reverse, but seven forward gears it does take a little bit of getting used to and as you'll see from a couple of shots that I'm going to show you now the uh, gear stick essentially does sit a little bit to the left of the uh, H pattern that's what it would be like in a normal neutral position so obviously you don't instead of going for first go for third gear or something along the lines of that as I said though shifter works really really well things I did like about it as I said it goes into gear very very nicely you know that you've got it in gear once it is in there another thing that I really did like about it was the fact that you've got the uh, screw on the side of the shifter basically what you do is you put a nice little flat bladed screwdriver in there and you twist it and it adjusts the tension of the shifter as well so if you don't want anything that's uh, too much tension you can have it quite loose or you can have something where you really got to pull it and yank it and get some real good force behind it to give you a bit more of a feeling of course you can adjust that perhaps I don't know if it depends on what sort of car you're driving if you're using something along the lines of a road car perhaps you don't want too much tension there whereas if you're using a, a more racing style car then maybe that's the sort of thing where you'd want perhaps a little bit more tension behind it but yeah thoughts and feelings were that it was very very good as uh, shifted the other the only thing I did notice is that it was quite easy sometimes to miss shift now this might have been due to my uh, driving style or very terrible driving style as I'm sure you'll see from a few but I'm going to show you a couple of clips now of just when I was uh, going for a gear perhaps had changed down and then miss shifted or changed up and uh, miss shifted and instead of getting the gear that I was going for got a box full of neutrals instead something obviously that's kind of far from ideal really in uh, those circumstances other things as well to note about this shifter it is quite tall the actual gear lever itself the gear stick is about 13 centimeters long plus then you've got the knob on top of it and it is quite a tall shifter so what I recommend depending on how you're going to be using it I've obviously got the Simitech K2 rig that it's all hooked up to and it's kind of designed to work quite well with that however if you've got it say on a computer desk or something along the lines of that somewhere really where the gear lever is going to be at the same height as the racing wheel that you've got then you might want to think about trying to find a solution where you can mount it just that little bit lower down because where you've got such a tall lever the last thing you want is to have the wheel here the lever over here and then of course you can't really get what you want you want to be a bit further down here and you know what I mean you get what I'm going for so just something that might be worth um, considering but as I say as an H pattern shifter 
thought it worked really, really well. Nice um, uh, amount of tension, nice uh, feel to the shifter. Everything felt very, very nice. The fact that it's metal, of course, it's designed not to wear. So it's uh, it works really, really well in uh, that respect. So anyway, moving over to the sequential pattern shifter. Now, I'm going to show you a quick little time lapse that I did, uh, just how easy it really is. I'm not a technical guy in any way, shape or form. For goodness sake, I mean, it took me that Simtech rig behind me. That took me, what, three days to build? Something along the lines of that? I was working in between, just a slight disclaimer. But uh, yeah, far from uh, the most technical guy in the world. But I just want to show you really how easy it is to change this from the H pattern style shifter over to the sequential style shifter. So uh, here's a quick time lapse as I talk about it, just talking about how easy it is. All you've got to do is just remove four screws uh, via the Allen keys that come with it. You've got to then turn the mechanism 90 degrees, take the shifter plate off the top, replace it with the sequential shifter pattern, and it really is as simple as that. There's a couple of little springs inside that uh, shifter plate where the sequential pattern goes onto, and you put that on there, nice and easily done. Everything is good to go. Then all you've got to do is just put the Allen key bolts back on and then put the shifter back on the knob back on the top and then you've got yourself a nice sequential shifter or a handbrake depending on how you're going to use it. Now I use this on a, a couple of different simulators as I said I use it on Dirt Rally, I use it on Gran Turismo Sport as well both on the PlayStation 4 I might add as well and uh, I really really liked how it felt as a sequential shifter. Good amount of tension there again you really know that you've got into gear and unlike the problems that I had with the H pattern shifter there were no issues about miss shifting on this one at all. Uh, as a sequential shifter, really, really liked it. You pull it backwards to go, or pull it towards you rather, to go forward, and you push it away from you to go down. And uh, I used this on uh, the circuit on Gran Turismo Sport around the uh, Suzuka circuit, and then on Dirt Rally, I used it around a couple of Welsh stages just to get a feel for things really and see how things were. And I really, really liked it actually as a sequential shifter. I thought it worked very, very nicely indeed. Good amount of feeling there, as I say, you can really push it back from you or pull it towards you, depending on what sort of feeling you're going for. You can adjust the tension there as well, and it's very, very nice. So, final then closing thoughts on this. Uh, Thrustmaster THA 8A add-on shifter. I thought it works really, really nicely. Uh, if you're looking at a shifter and you're a PlayStation 4 user and you've got a Thrustmaster T150, C300 RS, uh, or of course the T500 RS if you're talking a few years ago, something along the lines of that, I think it's absolutely perfect for you. It will really, really work well and it will especially add to that experience that you should want as well. That's the whole idea, of course, of having one of these shifters is to just add that extra step of realism and uh, give a bit more immersion uh, to to whoever it is that's playing the game. If you're on a PC, of course, you can uh, use a variety of different shifters. Doesn't matter, it can be plug and play. You've got the USB connection there as well with the wire. So you can just plug it in there and you can use it with uh, a different type of wheel if you should so wish to do so. But yeah, I really, really did like the Thrustmaster TH8 add-on shifter. Um, as I said, I had a couple of issues with those misshifting. It might not be the case for you and it might just have been my driving ability letting me down. But anyway, yeah, I really would recommend the uh, add-on shifter for anybody who's looking to try and add some immersion to their game. It's been out for quite a few years, but it really does add on some immersion to the uh, player and just makes things so much more fun when you're playing it as well. It's always nice when you're shifting up using the sequential box. You've got a real mechanical feeling there, and that feels really quite nice. Or if you're using the H-pattern style shifter, you know, when you can really get a nice heel-toe shift down and you can get it absolutely bang on, that really does feel fantastic as well so if you're looking at a shifter for your Thrustmaster wheel or if you're using it as a standalone shifter on the PC the Thrustmaster TH8A add-on shifter something I really really would consider using every single time I was out there sim racing so anyway I hope this review has uh, helped you quite informal quite uh, chatty I hope as well if you did like it then give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it then feel free to comment uh, your um, frustrations or something along the lines of that down below and anyway uh, I'll have a few more reviews coming up I've got that R383 uh, Thrustmaster add-on wheel uh, to do later on in the channel and also I've got the uh, Thrustmaster TSS plus handbrake modification as well so I'll be doing those within the next few weeks and hopefully putting them out very very soon to when this video is released anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye